Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Xenoblade Chronicles Future Connected. In the last episode, we started off this extra story and, uh, came all the way over here to Companion's Cape. This time, we're gonna be doing some side quests around here, so, uh, Caranel? Oh, whatever shall I do? I really hope this is a woman. Hello there. How, how would you feel about assisting me in my research? Come now. Don't make those faces. It's an easy task, I swear. Okay. I'll take the grimaces. Happily, ma'am, I shall. Shall I? Okay. See, I've developed this tool for exploiting ether deposits. Then, okay. Hmm. Okay, so this is a very easy side quest. So what we want to do... Is... We get the common ether pick from this lady. And then we go right here and just... If I recall Cavanaugh's words, I should locate an ether deposit and then give it a good whack. No time like the present, I suppose. Okay. And we whack this. Well, that didn't sound too good. Broken ether pick. What just happened, Caranel? Thanks for that. I had to say, I didn't expect for it to break so easily, though. Right, give it here for a minute. I see, I see! So the problem's durability. Alright. Due to the higher ether, dis ether d density on the bionic shoulder, it seems it crystallizes into a form that's perfect for gems. Just reinforcing the pick isn't likely to improve the yield in, pra in practice. Okay, thank you all. Okay. So after that, we get the ether pick. And then she just dies because she left. I don't know. On the Bionis shoulder, you, you can use a tool called an ether pick to mine actual gems from ether deposits, not just crystals. If you exhaust a given deposit, check back after a while. As you progress more through the story, you may you may be able to obtain a more efficient ether pick. This is awesome. Okay, look at this. We are getting actual gems from these. I mean, they're not good gems. They just got art seal and damage heal. But that was really cool. Why didn't they do that in the main story? I hate crafting gems. Okay, hello, Hamillan. I'm gonna list. I'm just gonna, you know, butcher all of these names. I know it's no business of mine to be asking outsiders, but would you consider assisting us with a hunt? Some of our people sustained injuries while out on the last one, leaving us somewhat short-staffed. Tell me in greater detail. Go down from here in the direction of the lake, and you'll arrive at the Navir Highland. Okay. There you should find some Magna Elks. X. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna kill them. I just called them Elks, and I want to kill them now. So this is basically a monster quest. Here we go. I am gonna be doing all these quests one at a time. Also, down here. Here we go. Give me that. Now, I really like... It gives you the recommended level of what you should be at. And this is level 62. Uh... Yeah, so I'm going to do this now. So we have to defeat Magna X, or Eex, or how do you pronounce the X? I'm saying X. We're going to go defeat these things. Alright, as I said last time, I am going to be going over Kino and Nene, but this time we're, gonna, we're just going to start with Nene. Nene is basically a Rhine clone, so this is basically War Swing, but now it's called Feathered Swing. Mild down instead of wild down, and then we got shield cur smash instead of shield bash. <laughs> Hangry. All right, we have a lariat. That's basically just the same attack. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know. Oh no, this is a material quest. I didn't even read what the quest was about. Okay, but yeah, basically Kino and Nene are just parodies of Rhine and Sharla, and I love that. Hammer beat, this is the same. Mild down, <laughs> angry, and we have Aura Toast. 
or a toast. Yes. That is the best thing ever, okay? Or a toast. And as we know, go ahead and use Hangry, and then we can use Aura Toast. I love Aura Toast. It's the best name for a move ever. I'm missing everything. Well, maybe it's because I'm fighting a level 63 and she'll stay. Okay, hold. Oh god, no, 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 no. Heal you. There we go. Listen, Nene's only level 58 when you get her, and I haven't been fighting enough enemies, okay? Uh, let's go over Kino now. Hello, Kino. Let's go. You're gonna be the freaking part of the party, and we're gonna fight this Machina thing. So, as I said, Kino is basically just a clone of Sharla. Crackle Bullet. So, this is basically just Thunder Bullet. Little Blast? This Little Blast? That's just. That's just Metal Blast. Yogurt Stance! <laughs> I love that. And of course you can heal because it's basically just a... It's it's just a... It's a ripoff of Charlotte, okay? That's, I don't want to greatly heal you, okay. Give me that. I'm not going to be playing as Kino, like, at all. Kino just sucks, okay? I don't like playing as Sharla, so I'm not going to be playing as Kino. He is adorable, though. I will give him that. Kino is the most cute thing in this game. Like, he's so adorable. I love him, but I'm not going to be playing as him. Nor will I almost... I'll almost never have him in the party, either. So... I am going to fight this leg Arden real quick, just because I can. And then I'm going to fight some more monsters so I can get this quest done. Okay, so now after doing that, you had to collect three rainbow carrots, which I already apparently have. And now I'm already in the right spot. Like, I killed this, this thing just two seconds ago, and here we are. So, A button. Looks like this is the place. Uh, what do I do now? Return to him, and he's not even out. Is, is he only out at night time? Okay, change the time then. I don't think it was night time when I talked to him, but apparently it was. Okay. I don't remember. And I can fight that unique monster now. But again, I'm not going to. We're in the middle of a quest. I'd rather do that outside of quest. Just, you know, it's easier to do time stamps that way. There you are. Hello, Hamlin, or however I say your name. Hamlin. So, you've returned with the X Iron Hearts. My thanks. These ought to revitalize our injured warriors. They may be hard to stomach, but their but their powerful medicine uh huh, yep. Yes. Okie dokie. Quest completed. And we get the Rudra Hood and the Rudra Jacket. Those are for Shulk, I believe. Yeah. Also, these things just look awesome, by the way. I love the look of all of the new clothing that Shulk can get in this in this story. Uh, sure, fine. You can go ahead and get old Art Seal on you or whatever. Um, I can't really think of anything else to give anybody, because we don't have very many gems yet. Anyway, I'm gonna do some more quests. Hello, human. Tol... Tol... Toliana? Toliana. Have you come here across Navir Highland? Have you come here... Okay, you know what? I'm just not gonna read. I don't wanna read. Just give me the quest so I can show how to do it. <laughs> okay, Aether Font. Exterminate wind elementals and exterminate water elementals. So I have a feeling those aqua nebulas don't appear until, like, it rains. Or, can we even do this yet? Do we have to do that a little later then? Okay. No, because they all appear right here. And we're in the right area. I'm dumb. Okay, oh, these respawned for some reason. I guess I did leave the game, so maybe they respawn when you leave. HP up 3, okay, I'll throw that on Nene, because that just makes sense. She is the Rhine clone, kind of just makes sense to 
Anyway, so we don't get armor from things, but I did get a husk chucker from an enemy earlier, and since we don't really have any gems for Kino right now anyway, I'll go ahead and throw that on him. Alright. So, again, this is just another monster quest type thing, so I'm gonna go do this real quick, and then we'll go back. Why is this fight taking so long? Oh my god. Finally! Oh my god. Okay, now that that's done, we have to return to Toliana. Yay! <laughs> okay, I defeated all the things for you. Hello, Toliana. My little brother's organism situation is under control now, thank you. Here's some things for Melia, I believe. This is regular spawning incidents, only one of the many random... Okay. Who cares? Okay, Melia. I'm gonna change your things to this new stuff. Um, there you go. Now everyone's gonna wear their, gul their uh, goth clothing. It's gonna be great. <laughs> okay. Now that I've done that, uh, apparently this thing just re just refills every single time you use a landmark, I guess? I or maybe it just appears every once in a while? I'm so confused, but whatever. Poison Defense 2, Poison Defense 3. We should have some money now, so let me go ahead and buy some new armor! You know, ones with actual gym slots! I really only need the last three. Okay, Brave Gloves. Um, they add weight. Everything adds weight. Okay, who cares? Um, Stellar Gauntlets. Uh, sure. Hell, that adds a lot of weight, actually. Never mind. Ooh! The Beanstalk Amulet would be good for Kino. And this is for Nene, so I'll buy that. And, uh, these would be good for Kino. And then these are also for Nene, and they add a lot of weight. Um, Kino, Nene, there we go, uh, Stellar Boots add a lot of weight, Brave Boots only add one weight and they'd be pretty good on Melia, Brave Bottoms, all of the Brave stuff would just be good on Melia. Unfortunately they do add weight, but I don't care anymore. Do come again! No! I'm gonna go ahead and change everybody's armor now. Alright, changed everybody's armor now. Uh, now we are going to go fight that unique monster. Because I don't think we have any more quests to do here. Although, hold on, there is a, uh... For one thing, a quiet moment up ahead, and also a an ether deposit. So I'm gonna go check that out, so I can get some more gems. Also, I'm pretty sure there's a landmark up here too. There might not. I haven't played Future Connected in a while. But, um... Yeah, we'll see. I'll take this. I'm pretty sure we can do this quiet moment now. I think it's between, like, Nene and Shulk. Yep. Okay, I think I'd rather do that in the daytime, though. So, before we do that, I'm gonna go all the way over here, and I'm gonna go get these ether uh, gems. Because, you know, more gems is a good thing. Especially for early on. You're gonna want some good gems. Give me these item orbs. I highly doubt we've completed a single row yet. There are a lot of... A lot... Of things here. Is this a landmark? No, this is an area though. There has to be a landmark around here somewhere. Probably not. Maybe, I don't know. I haven't... Again, I haven't played this in a long time. <laughs> okay. Right up ahead, we got a quiet moment between Shulk and Nene, and I'm going to watch it in the daytime, because, you know, daytime's a good thing, so hello, quiet moment. Never mind, I've decided to go ahead and do this unique monster before we do that quiet moment, so Phlegmatic Jamir, or whatever. This thing shouldn't be too hard. Especially compared to everything else I've already done in this episode. I've already died twice off screen, so, uh. Yeah. Give me that! Uh, 
that off screen. What am I talking about? That makes it sound like I'm dying, like, in real life. Yes, I have totally died in real life, twice. Not once, but twice. Anyway, Monado Cyclone, because it inflicts topple. There we go. Alright, let's go ahead and daze you. Dang it, okay, I didn't have enough time to do that. Uh, get off of me. Crap, okay, health, 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 health. Here we go. I'm gonna heal myself with light heal and backslash you to death. Almost. Okay, here we go. And you're almost dead. Okay, I need to heal Melia. Melia, get up, get up, get up, go on! You can do it. You can do it. There we go. Dazed. Backslash. Slit edge. Alright, there we go. All right, random cut in between my in my voice because I didn't even notice there was a freaking post battle conversation happening. I can barely hear the game. Okay, um, uh, there was just this huge enemy flying above my head somewhere. <coughs> Whatever. Now I'm gonna go do that quiet moment. Uh, never mind. I'm gonna fight you, and then I'm gonna go do that quiet moment. All right, here we are. Quiet moment between Shulk and Nene, all grown up. Brother, sister, pon. Hope they're not giving Mama pon too much trouble. Buckets. Nene, there you are. Something the matter? Kino's been looking for you. Something about stubbing his toe? Little Pond never change. Nene will run back later and go, there, there. <laughs> You're a good sister, Nene. Or maybe more like a mum. By the way, what were you doing out here, Nene? Nene being reminiscing about Frontier Village, tiny bit. I see. So, that's where you were living before? Yep, in past. Nene always adventure into Magna Forest with Brother Sister Pond and climb trees every day. I assume you were the responsible one then. That silly question. Knock on boys, all good for nothing lazy bones. It all too much for Mama Pond to handle, so Nene have to help take care of Brother Sister Pond and Dad Pond all for long. <laughs> I wonder what Ricky would have to say to that. Dead upon, after he'd chosen for Village Hero Pond and set off on great adventure with Mr. Shulk, has become total pigsty, hungry little pond underfoot everywhere. Wow, I had no idea. Hmm. Wait, was this after Ricky joined us? So that must mean. Yep, before Nene became friends with Mr. Shulk and friends here. We actually meet one year ago, back in Frontier Village. Dadapon, stomach rumbly rumbly. Dadapon, need food. Dadapon, give crab. <sighs> You're kidding. I'm sorry, I feel kind of bad about this now. Though... In my defense, you've really grown. It's almost like you're a whole different Nopon. In Nopon biology, age between 10 and 15 often experience growth spurt. That why, when compare Nene now and Nene one year ago, it's not too surprising if not realize they the same person. It's still quite a surprise. I never knew that a Nopon could grow that much in a single year. <laughs> Now Mr. Shulk know can rely on post-growth spurt Nene more than ever. <laughs> we can always count on Nopon. Us Homs could learn a lot from you. But Nene have these moments 
up lately, Oin get teeny bit lonely. Hmm? Ah, poor Hum Hum. Mr. Shulk, such chow hound. Uh, I don't think that was me. Nay, nay, prepare some grub. Too sweet. Now, now, Mr. Shulk, go Coquino and Miss Melia and tell to wash up. Really, that's... We thought she was so grown up for always taking care of Kino. But really, she's just a kid. No wonder she's lonely. Mr. Shulk, something happened? Tell me to rumbly to move, or what? Wait, I've got it. Mama? I'll round up all the others. Then after, we can all chip in with the meal. It'll be more fun that way. Mr. Shulk would not say no. Honestly, I think I like that one more than the first one. Like, that was just so adorable. The first one's great, but that one was just... That was the best one we've seen so far. Anyway... <sighs> Usually I'll do whole this thing to end off the video, but you know what? We have such a good view here that I think that kind of be the, a waste of an end screen. So I'm going to just do this and uh, just give a good view of the Bionis shoulder. So next time on Xenoblade Chronicles, after I go ahead and turn off everything here. So next time on Xenoblade Chronicles Future Connected, uh, we're going to... I think we're going to do more side quests, and then we're going to continue on with story stuff, so see you guys next time.